What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some epic WWE action figure news. WWE elite figure news at that coming out of Mattel, coming out of the WWE action figure world here. As you guys will see, um, my boy DFreedom30 on Instagram, very big into the Mattel line. He gives us great feedback. I don't know where he gets all of his information from, but he's really good at finding out source information. He's really good at finding out, you know, what lines we're getting, what figures are in what lines, and he's he's just an overall beast. So guys, definitely go give DFreedom30 on Instagram a follow for this news right here. He he is a beast. But putting it up on the screen, guys, you will see this announcement here. It says, now that this week's episode of Major WF Pod, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, has officially dropped, I can finally share some rather big news I've been holding off since Monday. See, he's, he already knew this ish on Monday, and he had to hold off. So I don't know where the hell he finds out this stuff, but, he, but he's the go-to guy. He says, that was provided by Mattel to Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins to be announced on the podcast. Similar to the WWE in entrance greats, and WWE Defining Moments assortments, the WWE Network Spotlight Target Exclusive assortment is being put on the shelf for the time being after Wave 2. A new Target Exclusive assortment that Mattel has long-term plans for will be taking its place. The new assortment, along with other WWE product by Mattel, will be unveiled at New York Toy Fair, which takes place February 22nd through the 25th. Now, this means... That obviously we're getting a new wave, and it says it's going to be similar to the entrance grades and defining moments assortment. So that could mean that it's going to be some sort of moment, I would feel, and I don't know what the hell that could be. You know, we've seen the epic moments line in the past. We've seen obviously the defining moments, which they discussed. We've seen the entrance grades, uh, which which they also discussed. And um, I'm freaking excited, man! I, I cannot wait to see what we get. But that does suck that the uh, you know the network spotlight series will be going. I feel like. You know, if you compare the the Toys R Us network spot, network spotlight, uh, you know, exclusives, and then you compare or the Toys R Us versions to the Target versions, Series One and then Series Two, I feel like we've gotten some pretty good bangers. But I think it's going to be really excellent. You know, those figures, I really don't know what the, I you know those those moments kind of bounced all over the place. So. For this new line, which we're going to be, we're going to see be unveiled at New York Toy Fair, which exactly what I said. Remember in our video from a few days ago, I talked about the figures that we will see at New York Toy Fair. I mentioned that we're probably going to see brand new stuff that we don't even know about. This is exactly what I was what I was pointing to. Is there's obviously going to be some stuff that we had no idea about, which is going to be epic. I can't wait to see what they plug in this line, and I can't wait to see what line it is. You know, I feel like. We've seen, you know, uh, we've seen Attitude Era. We've seen uh, Defining Moments, as they mentioned, Extreme or Extreme Moments. We've seen Epic Moments. We've seen Entrance Grace. So that's another line that could be cool, maybe an Extreme Moments or, you know, something like that. I think a Ruthless Aggression line would be excellent. Something, you know, to do with the Ruthless Aggression Era. They could give us, you know, throwback uh, edge heads or something. Maybe that's why Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins are hyped about it. I don't know. That's, what I, that's just what I'm spitballing, you know, thinking of Ruthless Aggression Era style stuff that we could possibly get. Um, I'm, I'm just freaking hyped, man. I can't wait to see what we get. I still haven't even tracked down the, the, the series number two. All I have is the, you know, the Matt Hardy, which I, I showed on my Instagram story. I don't know if you guys saw it. I'll probably plug it in the video. Really enjoy that figure. I think it's an excellent figure. I went to retail and I found the Network Spotlight Series 2 Matt Hardy and the Elite 73 Alistair Black. And they were the only two Elites really on the shelf. I posted on my Instagram. I think there was like a Top Talents Finn and a Top Talents AJ. But those were the only two figures on the shelf. I was very shocked. So I went ahead and grabbed both of them just because I really, the, the Matt Hardy and the, uh, I mean, it's a pretty solid wave. I think uh, Wendy Richter was the only one that I really didn't want that much. But uh, I really wanted the Kurt Angle, the Ricochet, and the Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy the most because I really wanted that dilapidated boat. Really want a, you know, um, a mower of lawn waiting on that. So maybe we, they can plug it. Well, if Matt Hardy leads the company, then I guess, you know, we'll never get our mower of lawn, which will be very, very sad news. That will suck eggs. Gonna have to figure out a way to get a mower of lawn. But, um, you know, the, the, the this wave is gonna be excellent, I think. I, I can't wait to see what they get. I'm sure it says it's gonna be a new wave. I'm wondering if it's gonna be like a, a one by one basis, like they did the defining moments or the entrance grace, or if it's going to be, uh, you know, a big wave. I feel like it's gonna be, you know, since they said similar to the entrance grace and defining moments assortments, I'm guessing that we're going to get one figure at a time, which means they can put more detail, more, you know, 
know, effort, more, uh, you know, details and more like accessory based and moment driven is what I'm guessing because the entrance grace figures uh, usually had to do with a moment or like a, a specific entrance and then... Uh, for the defining moments, obviously that was the defining moments line. Yes, there were some duds in that line. There were some, you know, figures in that line where it was just like, did we really need? Is this a defining moment? So uh, hopefully, you know, whatever line this is, whether it's like a legendary line or if it's like, you know, a brand new talents line, like it's similar to, or you know, they take like a brand new, fresh, great talent that we haven't gotten yet. I don't know what the hell they're gonna do, but I'm excited, man. And New York Toy Fair is coming up very soon. It's literally like next weekend, I think, or next Thursday, starting next Thursday. I could be wrong. Am I wrong about that? I feel like it's next. Yeah, I think it's next Thursday or Saturday. I, I can't freaking remember. I think it's next Saturday. Who the hell? Who the hell? I don't know. The 22nd through the 25th. I don't have my calendar right here. Let me let me go ahead and look real quick before I fart in a bag and smell it. Uh, that is next Saturday through next Tuesday. So. Hell yeah, Brad. Um, also, happy Valentine's Day. When I pulled up my calendar, it said happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. Uh, but this is huge news, man. I can't wait. Maybe uh, I doubt we'll have any leaks from here until then. Since it's so close, I don't think we're going to have any leaks or anything of that nature. I, I wouldn't imagine that we would have any leaks. But the entrance greats line and the defining moments line uh, are going to be having like a little baby cousin coming out here. And uh, it should be great. But the only thing that sucks is it's going to be Target exclusive. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the Target exclusives are really hard to track down, especially in my experience. Like, I haven't seen... Um, I, I can't remember if, you know, Sonya Deville and Liv Morgan were Target. I feel like they, like, flipped back and forth from Walmart to Target. But I never found Ono in person. I never found Pete Dunn in person. I never found Paige in person. Never found Peyton Royce. Never found Liv Morgan. Never found Sonya Deville. Never found uh, Gorilla Monsoon. Never found any of those. The only one I ever found was the Walmart exclusive Pat Patterson, I do believe. Never found Briscoe. I know some of these were Walmart exclusive, but, you know, I, I haven't found uh, Anvil. I did find Bob Backlund, so that's another one you can add up there. But for the most part, I don't find the Target exclusives, man. It just does not happen. I don't know what's up with that. Um, you know, I, I haven't seen The only network spotlight figure I found was Matt Hardy. And then the first series, I did get them, but that's because I was waiting on the code to hit the store. And as soon as the code hit the store, I was in that hoe and I was ready to go. And I bought all four, the Red Mysterio, the Diesel, the Jinder Mahal, and the Oscar figure. I even did a toy on, I think, on that. So that is literally the only ones that I've ever gotten at Target. So hopefully this wave is going to be big. I feel like, though, the defining moments, the network spotlights for the for Tours of Rust, and then the entrance grades, I feel like all of those were pretty easy to get. I don't know about you guys. So if, if they're similar to that line, then maybe they will be you know widely available. Uh, and and they won't be so such a pain in the ass to to you know track down because they they have definitely been in the past a very difficult thing to track down. But uh, there it is again a new Target exclusive assortment that Mattel has long term plans for. So that's a that's another thing. I, I just remembered that they said long term plans. So hopefully it's a really good wave and that it sticks and that you know we don't have any issues with it. If they have long term plans for it, that means that it would be similar to a basic line, an elite line, or the ultimate line where it's. It's like you know a staple in the in the series so hopefully that is what's true for this new line but i'm excited guys freaking new york toy fair gonna see a bunch of epic ish i cannot wait mattel huge shout out to the major wrestling figure podcast for the news also shout out to my boy d freedom 30 you guys can definitely go check him out on instagram again valuable information he posts all kinds of new figure photos and he'll give you the exact information you need on any figure if you you can even he even responds to dm so if you have you know a question or something like that and you dm him he will respond in a timely manner and he's always super nice, super down to earth guy who will take care of you and listen to your, you know, questions and he'll give you all the information that he has if you ask him. So huge shout out to him. Really great dude. And I appreciate him for this news. So definitely follow him, guys. And uh, I think that is going to finally do it for this video. Again, super hyped for it. New York Toy Fair coming up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did uh, enjoy the video. What do you think is going to be the long term, you know, WWE figure line that we're going to be getting. Let me know down below. Do you think it'll be really great? Do you think it's going to be flashbacks? Do you think it's going to be current talent? Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys are thinking. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.